Mimi here today and guess what? Today I'm finally gonna show you how to achieve heatless curls. I've done a heatless waves video a while back and it was super easy. You guys love that video and you all requested a heatless curls video and I know it took me a while to do it but today I will finally show you. So let's begin. As with the previous video of heatless waves, heatless curls are super duper easy. All you're gonna be needing is a few simple tools. Of course, you're gonna need a hairspray. You're gonna need a spray bottle with um, H2O, aka water. And I'm gonna be using two different kinds of clips. You don't need to have these two clips. You can use just one of them. Or you can use bobby pins. In my experience, I found that bobby pins live a dent on the hair, so I prefer to use clips. And the reason I'm gonna be using two kinds is because I have a lot of hair. I'm wearing my Luxie hair extension, so I'm not sure if I'll have enough clips if I just use one type. Hence, I'll be mixing the two. Okay, so let's begin. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just split the hair into sections. I find that makes it easier. And then what I'm gonna do is just brush the side that I'm gonna start with. And I'm already wearing my Luxie hair extensions. I'm wearing the Ombre set in 160 gram. And sometimes what I'll do is I'll curl the extensions separately, but I think today it will just be easier to show it all myself. I've already clipped them in, and I washed them yesterday, so this is just naturally, they're pretty straight. Now what I'm gonna do is just section a small one inch section, and then clip the rest away. I forgot you're gonna need a clip, so make sure you have that as well. So this is gonna be very similar to the Heatless Waves tutorial, but there's one thing that's gonna be different. And some of you that have seen the video will know the difference right away. So the first thing I'm gonna do, of course, is just take my water bottle and I'm gonna spray it into my pump. So just a few pumps is enough. And then I'm gonna go over to this section. My hair is so long, you can't even see the ends. Anyway, so I'll do it a few times just so that it's damp. It doesn't need to be wet, but it needs to be damp. When I feel like it's damp enough, I'm gonna stop. But what I did with Hitless Waves is I would take two fingers and I would wrap the hair around the two fingers. Now that creates a nice, beautiful, loose wave. What I'm gonna be doing with this hair tutorial, because it's the curls, is I'm looking at my fingers like a curling barrel. So this one is a pretty big curling barrel. Now today I'm gonna be using my middle finger, okay, don't laugh. Uh, nothing offensive about it. It's just when you look at the fingers, the middle finger is the longest finger. Hence, it's the easiest one to use and I like the size of this barrel. If you know what I mean, like it gives you perfect curls. I know this sounds like totally ridiculous, but just stay with me. We're talking about hair and that's it. So I'm gonna just take this section, gonna take my middle finger and I'm gonna loosely wrap the section of hair around the middle finger. And then I'm gonna carefully slide the finger out and help with my other hand to hold the curl in place and then I'm gonna take my hair clip just slide it inside of this curl and you will have something like this and that's it I'm gonna show you just one more time what I'm doing literally I'm gonna be doing this exact same thing all over the hair so take another section make sure it's not too big because if you take big sections the clip won't be able to hold the hair together so just spray it on my hand first Go over the section. Now this takes quite a bit of time, I have to be honest, especially if you're wearing you know, hair extensions like me or if you're, you have naturally long and thick hair, but then the plus is that you're not using hot tools so you're not damaging your hair. All right, so I'm gonna take another section. I'm gonna wrap it carefully around my mi middle finger, just a bit loosely. Then I'm gonna take my middle finger out try to hold this curl together. Sometimes the ends will unravel, don't worry about it, that's completely fine, especially if you have long hair. It's just bound to happen. And then take the clip and just pin this whole thing in place. Ta-da! And then I'm gonna continue to do the exact same thing on my left side and then I'll show you how to do it on the right side. my beauty so I'm done with my left side the next thing I'm gonna do is just take my hairspray and spray everything with a hairspray okay now we're just gonna let that dry and I'm gonna move on to my right side and I'm gonna do the same thing here and again I'll just show you one or two strands and then I'll fast forward it so I'm just gonna clip one section away and then just take a one inch section oops my hair bottle I mean my water bottle and go over this section with the water 
For these tighter curls, I actually prefer using the smaller clips. I mean, if you have the choice between the bigger and the smaller, I would probably go with the smaller, just because I find that these work better in bigger curls. I alternate them because I just don't have enough of them. I prefer these ones, definitely. Just thought I'd mention that to you. So I'm just now gonna take this curl and just gonna put a little more water. So I'm just gonna take this section and wrap it around the middle finger again. Just try to be careful and then carefully slide it out of the curl. And then next thing I'm gonna go in with my clip and just clip the curl in place. I've seen all the hair and I'm gonna go ahead do the same thing on my right side I'm gonna take some hairspray and I'm gonna spray it all over in the back inside just very very generously all right at this point I have to just wait till my hair dries usually what I'll do is just I'll get some work done on the computer I prefer not to sleep in these because I just don't feel comfortable but if you wear a hairnet over everything you should be kind of fine, but personally I think it's better to do it, you know, when you're at home and you have some house chores. I'll do the house chores and the hair dries. And I would say it takes about half an hour to 40 minutes for my hair to dry if I'm wearing extensions. If I'm not wearing my Luxie hair extensions, it'll probably take my hair 15 to 20 minutes to dry because my hair is not that thick. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna go do some work and then I'll come back and show you the results. Oh, and one more thing, if you're in a rush and you still want to have sort of heatless curls, what you can do is quickly blow dry this with a um, blow dryer on a very low setting. Just like blow dry it quickly, just go over everything. And then that way it'll take you like five to seven minutes to dry everything, but then you can't really say it's completely heatless because you're l using a little bit of, of heat from the blow dryer, but it's not damaging at all. All right, so it's been about 30 minutes and I'm ready to take the clips out. Are you guys ready to see the results? Let's do this. So I'm probably gonna start with what I started with before. So I'll do my left side and I'll do sort of the inner curls here. I'm just gonna grab one and pull the clip out. And what I'm left with, it's a really nice bouncy curl. And at first it's quite tight, but trust me, throughout the day, the curl will loosen up. Because when I just take it out, usually my hair is like 10 inches shorter and I'm like, oh, I don't like this. But you know, I'll play with it a little bit and the curls will loosen up and I really like that. Okay, so I'll just keep taking the clips out. And you'll see that it's really nice, cute curls. No heat, baby. So I took out all the clips and I'm left with beautiful soft curls. What I really like about doing these curls is when I do them, you can actually see the highlights in my hair more. And also what I really love about these heatless curls is that they actually, strangely enough, last me longer than the, you know, the curls I get from a curling barrel. These will last me at least two, three days, which is I think fantastic. All right, so let's do the same on the right side. I'm ready to take it all out and enjoy my curls. curls I prefer not to run my fingers through them or brush through them because I find that throughout the day they're gonna loosen up naturally so I just kind of let them be. That's it for today. Let me know how you like these heatless curls down below. Leave me a comment, try it out and post it on your Instagram. Make sure to tag Luxie here so I can see the results. I would absolutely love to see them and make sure to post it on Facebook if you can. If you have Facebook or Instagram, whatever you have, post it whatever you can. I would absolutely love to see what kind of results you're gonna get. Thank you so much for tuning in. I love you guys so much. Ciao. Just say the word. Just say.